Mickey Mania is a game worth checking out, and I've got five chances to tell you why. Want a journey through Mickey's career from Steamboat Willie to the Prince and the Pauper? That's literally what Mickey Mania is. We got Sonic Generations. This is Mickey Generations. Where's my Mickey Mouse mod for Sonic Generations, damn it? It's really cool to go through just some of Mickey's career. It makes me want to watch some Mickey Mouse films after playing this. Getting to see the evolution of Mickey Mouse all the way from his black and white days to his more modern design makes this game in general a really cool idea. Listen, Mickey Mania did Sonic Generations before it was cool. I gotta give props to the presentation of this game. Not only does Mickey Mania look good, it emulates what a Mickey Mouse cartoon would feel like in a video game. Everything is full of life to the enemies, obstacles, to Mickey and Pluto. We even have some audio effects for Mickey and Pluto. I love how a chapter starts in this game. We have a magic pencil that draws the Mickey Mouse that will represent the chapter we are entering. Like Steamboat Willie, we have that Mickey Mouse in black and white pulling on the steam pipe. For Mickey and the Beanstalk, you have that Mickey on top of a giant bottle of wine flying off the cork. The animations really make me feel like I'm watching a Mickey Mouse film. It's good stuff. I mean, it's the adventures of Mickey Mouse. In itself is a reference, but this game has some secrets to find. You know, your typical platformer secrets for reaching certain areas, you get awarded a life or health. I mean, lives are definitely needed in this game, trust me. However, those aren't the only secrets. There's a couple of bonuses to find. Like in The Mad Doctor, when you are using the elevator, go back on it when it stops, and it takes you up even further. As you explore the dark, you find Mad Doctor Mickey. This is something you can easily miss, it's mainly just an easter egg. There's also another secret if you hit the switch in Mickey and the Beanstalk, and then make your way over here. But, since it's a secret, I won't show you this one. Go check it out yourself. I love secrets and easter eggs in video games, and Mickey Mania is no exception. Listen, some games just don't have that many catchy tunes. I mean, have you heard the options menu in Sonic Spinball? Perfection. Mickey Mania? There isn't a track I don't like. It's so good. Definitely take the time to listen to the OST outside of the game. The Genesis drums used here really has a kick to it. I like World of Illusion, but I think Mickey Mania's soundtrack is just better. Gotta love the library theme that plays in Prince and the Pauper. as well as the Mad Doctor theme that plays here. want some epic tension music, listen to this track right here. I've lost count of the many times I've jammed to this OST. Seriously, give it a try. If you thought World of Illusion was a bit on the easy side, well Mickey Mania is the complete opposite. 
This game can be challenging at times, but you can find extra lives and replenish your health. Make sure to find rockets as well as they are your checkpoints. This game will test your ability to avoid things. Also, precision platforming can be the difference between finding a secret or taking the normal route. It will have you ducking and jumping all over the place. You use marbles to attack enemies and there is plenty to collect throughout the levels. Most enemies you can just bounce on top, but most you have to throw marbles at them, but it works really well. They come out really fast. Back when I played this as a kid, I admit, I struggled. It gave me trouble, but I've gotten used to it now. Still a very fun and enjoyable platformer, just with a bit more of a challenge to it. You'll be hearing Mickey say, a fair few times, that's for sure. Mickey Mania is on Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo and the Sega CD. However, Mickey Mania was also released for the PlayStation 1, dubbed as Mickey's Wild Adventure in 1996. It's the same game with slightly better looking graphics, though both the Sega CD and PlayStation versions adds a few things and even extends the ending. If you're still not interested in playing Mickey Mania though, can I get a hashtag nope in the comments and I'll do the bad if we get enough comments. That wraps up the two Genesis Mickey Mouse titles that I've played. I've yet to play Castle of Illusions unfortunately, but I do hear good things. If you would like me to cover Castle of Illusions though, please let me know. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? Let me know. If you want to see more platformer videos, check out the videos I have on screen now, and I'll catch you all next time.